All right, celebrating art and Juneteenth. Kenny Crumpton kicking it this morning. Morning. Good morning, Todd. Good morning, Christy. Yes, we are. We're here at Ursuline College and uh, giving a little history lesson 101 uh, with an artistic flair. And that's where Anna comes in because the shoes. <laughs> shoes. We got to talk about the shoes. Okay. I want a pair. I All want right. A pair. Okay. Uh, you are the director of the gallery. Yes, I am. Um, about four to five shows a year. Yes. Uh, in the gallery you guys give here at Ursuline. Mm -hmm. And uh, your vision when you approached Devon for this show. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, ahead. my vision was, of course, we always have the underlying theme of freedom. Right. And what I wanted was 10 artists under the age of 30. Mm -hmm. We wanted that energy from the young artists, some artists just getting out of art school. Okay. So that's what we were looking for. A fresh perspective. A fresh perspective. I mean, because you and I are, you know, we're 32, so we have a different <laughs> perspective. Uh, Juneteenth, yes. a celebration, you know, uh, the slaves were freed. Yes. Uh, but two years later, the word didn't get down to the South. Yes. And, you know, on, on Juneteenth. Right. So um, for two years, they were working, didn't know they were free. So you wanted to uh, see the interpretation of young artists yes. on how that affects us now. Yes, it does. Okay. Yes. We'll start moving that way. Uh, what do you think of the show so far? It's absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's a phenomenal show. Um, and curated by a very young, awesome, <laughs> awesome artist, uh, Mr. Devon Brantley. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Your fourth show. Congratulations, young man. Thank All you. All right, you handpicked the 10 artists. Yes. Uh, what has impressed you so far as we take a look at the different art in the gallery and uh, the interpretations of their messages? Yeah, um, so what impressed me so far was how all of these artists do very different themes mm -hmm. with their work. What are some of the um, things that we're going to see? So we'll start giving them a tour. Yeah. yeah. And so some um, themes you'll see are people tackling like uh, the political realm within their work, mm -hmm. talking about um, economic disparities that are happening within the community of Cleveland, people discussing things about uh, their mental identities and landscapes, um, the effects of birth and child rearing. Mm. Um, some artists are actually going into more of a meditative state with abstraction as well too, um, and making the viewer feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, and a lot of the artists as well are just talking about what it means to be you know, black and existing within this world and the many different things that could look like or directions that could go. Um, definitely a heavy subject matter. Did any of the artists hesitate? Were they uncomfortable when you approached this? Because, you know, creating art and then your personal feelings about something this heavy mm -hmm. could be two different things. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think any of the artists felt uncomfortable with it. Okay. Um, they trusted me a lot because they know me personally. Okay. Um, we always have these discussions anyway within our studios. <laughs> um, and so this was just kind of like another jump into that discussion and involving a wider audience. Okay, excellent. So we're going to hang out. We're going to start looking at some of the art, the interpretations of uh, when we come back. Congratulations on your fourth show. Thank you. You have to say hi to your wife and your young child. Hi, Lauren and Ruby. Yeah. <laughs> She's almost two. Right? Yes, yeah. almost two. Yeah, so congratulations for you and your wife. Thank beautiful you. Beautiful baby. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to you guys in the studio. We're going to come back and look at some of the pieces the artists are working on and their interpretations. It's very, very cool. Yes. All right, back to you guys in the yeah, studio. Yeah, cool stuff. Thank you, Kenny.